There's no way. He's a main. That we're gonna put as bait. See that dust? It's early morning on our ninth day, and we're out for a grouse hunt. We heard one chirping around, so hopefully we could get bird on the table. Oh, nice shot, Maddie. Thank you. Pig's eating this guy raw. Hillbilly, I'm doing. I'm sick. I thought you were. I really thought you were. Nice. You're me. What are you making there? This is called a uh, bush smoke. Got some alder leaf here. Should grind it up on my uh, sweater quick and uh, rolled up in a piece of journal paper. <laughs> <laughs> hard times call for hard measures, I guess. Call it a bush cigar right there. Bush smoke. Smooth, man. Smooth. The DJ has volunteered to be the swimmer number one for this side of the peninsula. Well, he is getting a new anchor rock ready. I'm gonna light him a little bit of fire so he can uh, warm up when he comes back. I went and collected some sap. That sap from spruce, dried sap, and that stuff lights really, really well. See that dust? There's the Michael Phelps of the woods now. Oh, a bit chilly out, not gonna lie. Hands are pretty cold. My God. I would want to come across him in a dark alley at night, that's for sure. Yeah. Looks like a mix between the Hamburglar and the tall guy from Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, let's do it. Preparing for his maiden voyage. <laughs> oh, this is funny for me for some reason. Oh, it's cold. Oh. 
I'm at the max. That's the max? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get your wash now for the ladies at home. I tell you, Wolverine got nothing on you. We're good now. We did it! I cannot feel my legs at all. Oh man, yeah. Oh f man, yeah. That, that wasn't bad, eh? I can't feel my We did it. Oh, I'm gonna go warm up by the fire now. Come on in. Got a boy, thanks. Yeah, brother. I think our next bet is to build a smoker. We're anticipating a ton of fish from this, so we'll build a smoker today and uh, start smoking fish. We'll come back and check this tonight and whoo, I think we'll get lucky. To the smoker. To the smoker. And we'll do the old Les Stroud walk away here. <laughs> and in about 10 seconds, we'll turn around and come get the camera. You know the camera's there. You know we gotta walk back. Bunch of spruce poles, maybe from the ground to the top, seven feet, eight feet tall, so we can stand up and reach it. Yep. We leave the branches on these logs. Okay. So then when we come in with the moss, the moss will just stick right to it. Oh, perfect. That's great. And just leave a little opening in the front. A little opening there to access? Mm hmm. Perfect. I think that'll be good. So this will work, it's gonna take some more time. Yeah, we'll get it done tomorrow. Right now we're gonna go check our nets, um, see what fish we got in there. Yeah. Net time, little baby. A little bit of a boost, maybe get a bird along the way back. Yeah. Mm. Nothing? I thought there was a sucker. Not a... So f eh? Oh, you had to wait overnight till the morning. Mm. 
nothing in the net. Well, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes, that's all. Yeah. Tomorrow morning we'll come out, check the net, adjust uh, that end strap a little bit. Because yesterday we were out here thinking we didn't get nothing and we pull up some fish. Today we we're just like guaranteed fish. Zilch. I mean, that being said, it's only been in the water for what, four hours, five hours? Something like that. In the middle of the day, too. I mean, so I really do have more faith tonight that there'll be more fish, but. All right, we're gonna wrap it up here and uh, head to the other side of the peninsula, back to the homestead. See us over there. Something outside the tent. Get out of here! Go on now, you old bastard! Go on home now, little fella! Today I'm going to build a couple taut lines out into the water. So we're just going to have two set lines on the beach, each with an octopus hook. But how we're going to get them out there is by carving a, an arrow and firing the arrow attached to the line and hooks all the way out there. So first stop, I'm going to go make my arrow. If there are straight pieces of alder here, that's what I'll use. If not, I'm going to find willow. Okay, it's a good arrow length. Okay, here's what we got for an arrow so far. And we're gonna fasten a rock to right here using some snare wire. So I'm just gonna cut a little divot for that snare wire to sit in. I know this one looks really brutal, but it's secured on there now. Enough to weight this arrow to fly it out. Now what we gotta do is attach a loop to the back, and we're gonna attach fishing line to that. And we're gonna fire this arrow out into the water, bring all the line out, uh, along with some hooks and a piece of bait. Fin from a lake trout that we're gonna put as bait. <laughs> we're gonna fire another one out over here. And we'll have two lines out. Yes! All right, that set line's out there. I'm gonna tie the rest to a tree over here. We're back at our fishing net. 
Now it's time to pull in and see what we got. Yeah, I felt that. Oh, well, there's three white fish. Nice white fish. Oh, beauty, those are delicious, man. A sucker. Holy shit. Yeah, holy because this is near a 30 pounder, man. 25. Wow. It's a lot of fish. A lot of fish. Look at that thing. That thing's a monster. That guy can just eat these. Slide him right down in there. Oh yeah, he would too. He would. This white fish here coming in this creek because it's full of eggs. You can see in there. Full of eggs. That's great protein and fat for us. My gosh. That'll go in our breakfast soups. Okay, just finished processing all the fish and I'm gonna make my way back to camp now, across the peninsula. We are just so lucky and I am overjoyed at how blessed we are out here. And that is not lost on me that this is a very, very special few days of catching fish and uh, being able to provide for ourselves off the land, so. Okay, welcome inside the smoker. We got webbing pieces of snare wire, three levels to lay our meat on. smoky in there. Not crazy, but it is smoky. So we're smoking some alder in here and then we got meat hanging from the ceiling. Smoke fish for supper. Mm, I'm excited to try something other than soft boiled fish. Mm. Not that I don't love my soft boiled fish, but some nice dry smoked meat would be nice. I buried all the 
extra gross cuts that we can't eat and the stuff that'll make us sick under the ground, under the sand there just a little bit. And he just found it, dug it up, grabbed a big piece of gross cut and took off back into the bushes. Even though he is really, really cute, like super cute. But I mean, his first stretch across a stick would be pretty cute also. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Bunch of berry tea and uh, spruce needles. Bunch of berry, they call it Prozac of the wild. You drink a whole bunch of it and um, it has like a euphoric effect. So it'll be good. I always thought Prozac was for your penis. Honestly, right now, I could be sold on any type of food in the world. Like, you are really selling me on bologna. Out of all things we could eat, barbecued bologna right now. Mmm. It be so good. At least two, and you're just double decking. Is it three bucks a sandwich? They're cheap. <laughs> My brain's not fully functioning these days. Really? Nope. It's better than halfway. Slow mo. This is only day 11, my god. I know. And we're eating. And we're eating. Well, we've gone full naked and afraid here. really starting to question why I'm out here. <laughs>